when was she an early bird? Hello, everyone. Morning, Rosie. Slept well? Yeah, I did. Oh, to be fair, I've had better nights. Well, surely it wasn't that bad. Uh, you okay, dude? It's kinda hard to sleep when you're someone's bedside lamp. Well, if you're tired, we can have a theory lesson today. Uh, Amber? What is it? Where's my sister? I can't find her anywhere. She and Cyan are probably on their way to Magenta Town. Wait, what? Why? Didn't she tell you yesterday? No. I went to sleep pretty early. She went for her things. Also, she took Cyan with her to ask the police if they know something about him. Oh, I get it now. Is anything wrong? I hope they will stay safe. They will. Don't worry. He's too adorable when he sleeps. I shouldn't get too attached. He probably has a loving, caring family that misses him. And he misses them too. The police will help reunite them. And we part our ways. What if he doesn't have a family? No. He must have someone. Couldn't just pop out of nowhere. And today is the day when we find out everything. Almost there. Hey, Cyan? We're almost there. Let's go! Big sis, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. If you say so. Welcome to Magenta Town. Why the long face? It's just, everyone seems so happy. Why wouldn't they be? I, I thought that everyone is too scared to go out. How could they live normally under the guide of what you call the champion? I heard he's cruel and evil. Who never dares oppose him? Well, why isn't anybody doing anything about this? Big sis, we have to- Wait. Who told you this? I... don't know. I'm just sure it's true. Look, I don't know who and why told you this, but I can assure you, it's not true. You're safe with me. Now, let's not waste more time. Are you hungry? Not really. Oh, well then, let's get in the police office. Big sister? What? You seem upset. Did I say something wrong? No, you didn't do nothing wrong. I'm fine. By the way, my friend is a policeman. I hope he'll be available today so he can help you. Help me find a family? Yeah, that. Let's go in. Good morning. I'd like to... Um... Tell me your name and what you would like to report. Or... Right. My name is... Tundra! Hi there. Dear Arceus. You scared me. Still, good to see you, Orion. Ah, same here. <laughs> we should really, like, hang out. There's so many things I want to talk about you with. But since you're here, there must be a reason behind it, no? Yeah. Yeah, okay, I'll take care of them, okay? Sure. Come with me, Tundra. I noticed this little Evie's with you. Who is he? Well, he's the reason I'm here. Is he a thief? No, not that! Oh, good, good. Uh, he doesn't look like one anyways. So, can we go somewhere more private? Oh, sure thing. Please, come on in. Now, could you please know what the problem is? Well, it was yesterday, around... 7 p.m. Me, my sister, and two of my friends were walking through Emerald Forest along the Route 14. Yeah, and? We heard some rustles, so my friend decided to check that. We found this little Eevee in the bushes. He wasn't in the best state, so he had some scratches and bruises. When we asked him about his name and family, he said he doesn't remember anything. Hmm. Maybe his head has amnesia? 
I thought about it too. That's all I know, really. I came here because I thought his family had already noticed his disappearance. Has contacted you. Could you help reunite them? Hmm. Well, no one has actually reported missing Evie recently. But we could try looking for him in the database. Database? Information's about every non-wild Pokemon are stored in there, including you and me. Huh. That makes it much easier. It's really convenient, and only the police champion has access to it. Uh, back to the Eevee. He doesn't look wild, so his data must be here somewhere. Could you search for him, then? Yep. Uh, that shouldn't be really hard. Just select Eevee, male, special features, left eye, side, and color, and search. Mm. What's wrong? Wait a second. I'll try again. Huh. I can't find him. Like, there are Eevees with blue eyes, but none of them have the cyan singularly on his left eye. I can double uh, check the Eevees really quickly, okay? One sec. Uh, well, no. There's no point, Tundra. He's not registered on the database at all. What now? Uh, we'll have to find his family the traditional way. And that would take a while. Then... we'll take care of him. I thought that maybe you wanted to do this. Me? I don't know if I'll be good enough. Huh? What's wrong? N nothing Tundra, at this point, it's either you or an orphanage. But that's a huge responsibility! I know you're responsible, and you take good care of children. Plus, I've seen you here you treat that Eevee. You already bonded with them. Oh, alright, I'll take care of him. I'll do my best. Great to hear that. You just have to fill out some papers. Please, follow me. So, guess I'm a mother now. You can consider yourself one if you want. Hey, little one. I'll have a talk to your mom now, okay? How about you draw something in the meantime? Um... Okay. Oh, Tundra, here, fill out these papers, please. Okay. You know, the whole thing really bothers me. Yeah, that's weird, no doubt. No, seriously, this kid showed up one day with no memories, and he's not even registered in the database. Something's really up. I know. I'll do my best in taking care of him. I'll try and find something about him. By the way, did you know that he's level 80? Yeah, level 8. Hey, 80? But how? Yeah, I don't know. Something's really wrong here. No wild Pokemon would be able to reach that level. Level 80 or not, he's still just a child. Thanks for reporting this to us. If it really bothers me, I should really do something to research him. Then that's all. We can't do anything else for him now. I need time. Good luck bringing him up, Sandra. Thanks for listening to us. Hey, Cyan, we're going back home. Until next time. Yeah, we'll be in touch. Goodbye. I guess we quickly go get my things, okay? Okay, Mom. <coughs> did, did I say something wrong? Uh, no. I'll just have to get used to being called Mom. Alright. Is your old house far? No, just a short walk. Thanks for taking care of me. No problem. How could I say no to such a cute face? I, um, I'll be a good child. Great. Oh, look, we're here. Your old house isn't really big. It's just a small apartment. That's why we moved to Amber's house for a while. We were planning to buy a new, bigger apartment. Or we'll just stay in Amber's house, if she doesn't mind it. M mommy I found a plushie. Ah, uh, it's my old plushie. You can have it if you want. Thanks, Mom. All right. I think I've got everything. We can slowly head back home. Okay. I think we should eat something before our journey. But I'm not really hungry. You have to eat something. You haven't eaten breakfast nor lunch. I don't want you to faint of hunger. But I really don't. 
Uh, okay. I'll eat something. Great. So, what would you like to eat then? Um, chocolate? Oh, it's not very heavy. But we can have a special day today and eat ice cream for lunch. Really? You're the best, Mom. Yeah, but only today. And don't tell the others about it, okay? You want chocolate flavor, right? Yes, please. All right, let's buy them. Hello. We'd like to buy ice cream. Which flavor? Chocolate, two times. Here you go. That would be 200 pokey. Here. Mmm, so sweet. I'm glad you like it. Hmm, well, would you mind if I went away for a few seconds? Um, no. But you won't abandon me, right? No, absolutely not. I just need to buy something really quickly. Oh, maybe you want to go with me? If it won't take too long, I'll wait here. Okay, be good. I'll be back in a second. For you! <laughs> That's a 50% discount. Not a 50% raise, moron. <laughs> What are you doing? No, stop! Please, I'll be good. I'll be good. I'll be good. I'll be good. But they never stopped. Cyan! Hey, little one? Hey! What's wrong? Why are you crying? I... I... <laughs> no, no. I'm here, don't worry. What happened? Mom, I, I heard something. I'm scared. Hey, I'm here for you. You're safe with me. Thank you, Mommy. I think I'm alright now. Then I think we should head back home. D yeah, let's go home. I wanted to tell you something. Huh? What is it? You you see? I felt something that I know was painful. Even though I don't remember that pain. I I know it was meant to hurt, but I can't recall any memories with that. Hmm. That's not all. When I think about my family, I just feel nothing. No happiness, no sadness. I'm afraid that they weren't even there in the first place. Cyan, I'm sure there's something that cares for you. And they're looking for you. I know it's hard. Just please, don't lose hope. Thanks. Even if they did find me, I would stay with you. Because I know that you truly care for me. Um, I'll try my best. I even have that feeling. Like we were destined to meet. Like, that's what should really happen. I have that feeling too. It's weird. Yeah. You know, this morning when we were on our way to this town, I was thinking about how much I don't want to lose you. But at the same time, I wanted what's best for you. I wanted you to reunite with your family. I knew you were worried. Your face said everything. Well, I'm happy now, because you're still here. It just really bugs me. The whole missing family thing. Me too. I'm just trying not to think about it and focus on something else. How about we change the subject? Okay. So, I know that children both have a mom and a dad. So if you're my mom, then who's my dad? Dad? Um, I don't know. How about Big Bro Rocky? He found me after all. Um, yeah, him, I mean. Did, did I say something wrong? Um, no, you, uh, maybe you should ask him first. Yeah, I'll ask him. Yeah, yes, why don't I agree to this? Alright, we should get going. Let's go! 
Don't you think she should be back soon? She'll probably come in an hour or something. I really hope nothing bad happened. Come on, Tundra isn't weak. Even if something happened, she can defend herself. Wow, thanks for the comfort. Uh, sorry, don't you think she'd be tired after that long walk? I'd be dying. Maybe she's taking a break to catch her breath. No, my sister doesn't need breaks. I'm really worried now. Guys, I'm back! Sis, finally. Tundra, you got us a little worried, you know? Wait, he's still with you? Yep, that's a longer story. Care to explain? Jeez, let us rest. We just got back. Excuse me for that. I'm just curious. Nah, it's alright. Big sis, I have a mom now. Wait, Tundra? Mom? I told you, it's a long story. Uh, so it was like this. And then he said... You want something? Stop staring. Hey, Cyan. Huh? So I heard Tundra's your mom now? Yes, about that. Go on. W would you like to... to be my dad? D uh, me? Is there a reason why me? But it was you who found me. But if you don't want to, I understand. Uh, no, no, it's it's not like that. I, I, I just don't know if I'll be able to take proper care of you. It's okay. I get it. Hey, I'm not saying no. Look, me and Tundra aren't even together. <laughs> Yet. But I'll try to be the best dad. For you. Thank you.